Hey Froggy friends, Kiro Style here, welcome back to Star Ocean 2 Remake. Thank you so much for joining me here on stream. Hey, it's good to see you guys. Psycho Reaper, congratulations on being first. Kieran, welcome to the stream. Hakaze, it's good to see you. Ash, welcome, welcome. CB, thank you for coming. And Goku, welcome. Thank you so much for following me and being a froggy friend. Welcome to the channel. So, uh, yesterday was our Thankmas streams, and I want to thank you all again for all your support and generosity. Even though Thankmas is over, the campaign will still be open for a few days, maybe even up to a week afterwards, if you want to check it out. But we raised over $600 for for charity, which is great, for World Central Kitchen, supporting people all around the world, helping them get meals during times of humanitarian crises. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. And I had a really good time. Ooh, Psycho Reaper, you're on a 30 stream streak. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you for all your support. Really enjoy seeing you here and stop by catching by the streams. Okay, so last time we were playing Star Ocean 2, we start our second playthrough with Reyna, and we recruited Opera to our party, who is a party member we did not get during our first playthrough. So we are just about to enter Linga, and we're going to get our next party member, who is also someone we did not get previously. Let's get going. Linga. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Ah, look out. What is that thing? Uh, uh. Just stop for a second. Was that what I thought it was? What's a machine doing in a place like this? Machine? What's that? What's wrong, Claude? Oh man! Failed again! My dad's gonna laugh at me again. I just know it. Hey, you there! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Oh! Uh... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. This is, like, totally normal. I break more things before 8 a.m. than most people break all day. I don't think that's exactly how it goes, but anyway, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, by the way, do you know where my body went? <laughs> Thanks for the chaos, CB. You're... Robbie? Yeah, you know, the guy that ran by just now. Oh, you mean that thing that looked like a remote control toy? It went over there. Uh, dang. I better catch him before he goes too far. Hey, wait a sec! Thanks for checking up on me. See ya, folks. Quite a girl, isn't she? So, to recruit her, I think her name's pronounced Pressus. I heard some people say Priestess, but, um, anyways. You need to go into private action mode. And if you're Reyna, the private action will be in front of Pressus's house. And if you're Claude, it's gonna be somewhere else in the town. And so recruiting her means we cannot get Bowman. But we got Bowman last time, so we'll do something different. Is this the house where that quirky girl I heard about lives? Yo, what's up, miss? You need something? Oh, well, I just couldn't help but notice some of the tools you're making. Oh, really? Well, that's unusual. Normally, people either treat me like I'm messed up in the head, or they just don't bother talking to me at all. You're not like that at all. I think it's really impressive. 
Whenever someone isn't satisfied with things as they are and tries to make something new, that's really something to be admired. Hey Raymond, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Yeah. The problem is most people are afraid of exploring the unknown the way I do. Anything that's beyond their plane of knowledge, they try to pretend that it doesn't exist at all. Unless it physically comes up and kicks them in the rear, they don't even try to give it a moment's thought. Oh, sort of like what happened to me when I saw Claude's Sword of Light, I suppose. Anyway, the point being, you are pretty different from the rest, little lady. I was about to take a break and make some tea. You, uh, interested in a cup or two? Uh, I... Well, I'm not forcing you, of course. Well, all right, I'd love to. Come on in, then. As you've probably noticed, everyone in town treats us like a couple of kooks. Not that I've ever let that bother me, of course. But I have to admit, I'm worried about how it's affecting my daughter. Your daughter? Yeah, Priestess. <laughs> like father, like daughter, you know? Just like me, she spends all the free time she gets building weird stuff. She doesn't really have any friends, so... She's always tinkering away by herself. Okay, so it is pronounced Priestess. I thought it was like Precious because her name looks like Precious? 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 <laughs> so, there's a bit of a favor I'd like to ask. Would you mind being friends with my daughter? Sure, I'll be friends with her and then take her to dangerous dungeons and fight monsters. Me? You're the only girl I've seen who hasn't made up her mind about Priestess before meeting her. Please. I think it'll really help her out. This way, this way. Thank you. Oh, Reyna? What are you doing here, Claude? So I'm guessing if you Claude's private action, you see his side of what happened there. Oh, Dad, if you're gonna be bringing cute chicks to the house, at least give me some advance warning. What are you talking about? You're the one bringing strange men in and out. You know, you could at least try to be a little more discreet about it. Um... Wow, so this thing caught your eye too, huh, Reyna? Y yes it did Well, you know what they say. Sooner or later, true genius always gets recognized for the genius it is. Yeah, shame that usually doesn't happen until long after the creator's dead. That was unnecessary, young lady. So what was it that inspired you to make stuff like this? Huh? Oh, well, uh, I know this will sound generic, but for me, it was purely just a flash of inspiration. <laughs> oh, really? I need to ask, though. I couldn't help but notice the clothes you're wearing. <laughs> it's not something you can get just anywhere, is it? Oh, you think? Oh, they sell clothes like these all over the place. Nothing special at all. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward laughs. Um, Claude? All around. Well, there are people still waiting for us, so we should be taking our leave. <laughs> they just slowly slide out from under. You have to go? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't have more here to offer. Oh, not at all. The tea was lovely. Listen, uh, you know how my dad was talking about that flash of inspiration before? Well, that was a big fat lie. A lie? 
A while back, my dad picked up this weird hunk of iron that shone like the sun. It was really huge, too. He said something about it falling out of the sky. Fell from the sky? Like the sorcery globe? Yeah, probably. And, um... What? Listen, Reyna, you're probably totally jealous of me right now, right? You don't have to hide it. It's not like I mind having a rival or anything. Wait, I... It's not... I'm telling you, it's okay. I mean, you do have a thing for Claude, don't you? Oh, of course not. Don't be silly. Oh, uh, so no problem then. There is a problem. A big one. And what would that be, hmm? Well, I mean... Hmm, so why? What's the big deal? I... I just... Oh, the sorcery globe. We've got the sorcery globe to think about. <laughs> Claude hasn't said a thing. Listen, Priestess. We're about to set off on a journey to investigate the sorcery globe, okay? I'm sorry, but we don't have the time to preoccupy ourselves with you. Oh, hold it there, you two. So you guys are gonna go check out the sorcery globe? Yeah, that's right. Then let me go with you. Come on, take me along, please. I... Uh, we can't let you join us just because you want to. Come on, why can't I go too? We're friends, aren't we? Whoa, whoa, since when were we friends? That's what I was about to say. We've always been friends as far as I'm concerned. Are you trying to deny it? Are you gaslighting me? That's not what we're saying, no. What's the problem then? I mean, the sorcery globe fell out of the sky too, didn't it? If I can find it and take it back home, I bet I can use it to make even better stuff than ever before. Besides, you're the only folks I know who'll treat me like a normal girl. Priestess. Well... Really, Reyna? Fine, might as well, I guess. Woohoo! I got a few things I need to take care of, okay? I'll join you guys when you're ready to leave town. Go ahead, I'll catch up. It looks like our party is going to be a bit livelier than usual. Well, Claude, there's only three of us, so we could use the extra manpower. That's the choice she made. I'm not going to try stopping her. I was a bit surprised when she said she'd be traveling with you guys, though. Oh, you were very accepting of that, mister. Her room is so cute. Are you leaving already? Hold on for a few minutes and while I finish this up. Oh, look at the Robbie on the roof. He's so cute. to your father? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of embarrassing, though. Oh my, when did she come back? Oh yeah, I still need to introduce myself. My name is Priestess. I'm going to be joining you guys starting today. So, nice to meet you all. We ready to go then? Yay! Oh, <laughs> her picture is so cute. Oh, she's holding a 
the PS5 controller. I think in each of her artworks, depending on which game that you are playing, she's holding a different controller. Dang it, she doesn't have Nimble Fingers or Design Sense. I'm really lucky the Opera has both, because Nimble Fingers and Design Sense are used for machinery. And Priestess also learns moves through machinery, like Opera does. So you see her name is Priestess F. Newman. She's actually referenced in Star Ocean 3 as Professor Newman at one point. So this is her current portrait. There's her in the PSP version. She's holding- I'm pretty sure she's holding a PSP there. And then her, her old version. So let's put her in the party properly. She's a melee fighter, so I'm gonna put her in front. She's only level 15. She knows Rocket Punch and Jump and Thump. Actually, let's do some... Let's get her Determination up before I forget. And then we'll work on her Machinery and Operation. How's her equipment? I guess it's okay. So Priestess is kind of special in that you actually need to other you need to not only do machinery to learn a couple of her skills, but you also need other party members. So her one of her strongest skills, you actually need Ashton in the party for her to learn it in a private action. So unfortunately, we won't be getting that. Maybe it would have been nice if we took Priestess with us during our last playthrough, but. Uh, also, Priestess is required for Welch to learn one of her attacks, too. Which, again, we don't have Welch on this playthrough, so it's... Oh well. I could re-roll for her design stats, but I'm not gonna bother. I need to set her as leader, too. Okay. Hey, Angora! Welcome to the stream! Thanks for stopping by today. Hey, Luke! It's good to see you. Hello, hello. Let's just see what her father has to say. Hey, Ditsunol. Welcome to the stream today. Oh, Priestess, you came back. Well, since there's a timed private action in Liqueur. Okay, let's go do that. I don't know when it says- when it says timed, I don't know when that time expires. Oh no, that's- that's Welch. I don't want Welch. We should also visit the guild. I haven't done any guild missions. Let's accept all of them. We'll need to do at least 25 of these missions to unlock a new, uh, jewel. I think it's Gro I think it's Rodex Jewel. We've done a few of them at least. Can we do fishing here too? I think I need to be clawed. The priestesses. Idle animations, they're kind of cute.
I'm also gonna stop by the item shop. Let's see if we can buy some machinist toolboxes. We'll need those. I also need more resurrection elixirs. Oh, I just got a bunch of these from the guild. I was like, how come I have so many of them? Actually, let's get some resurrection elixirs. So I'm gonna try to learn Opera's healing skill. It is kind of random, so I'm gonna actually save and reload just so that if it doesn't work out, then we don't lose our items. So we need to go create Opera item, and her machinist level is level 4, but this is for all levels, but we'll see. Oh, I can do multiples! Okay, what if I just do all 20? Oh, I can do 10 at once. Okay, let's see. If we're lucky, we'll get what we need. Uh, can't tell what these are. Black clip, booster clip, white upgrade. Oh, I got- wait! I got four white upgrades! Okay, white upgrade is the item that teaches Opera how to heal. It's called Healing Star, and it's a really good healing move because it's the only healing move that is- it's not a spell, it heals everyone, it happens instantly, and it only costs like a couple MP. Okay, good. She has two other upgrades. Uh, I think it's black upgrade and green upgrade that also teach her other moves. They're attacking moves, and they're good, but they're not her best moves. So it's not as rel it's not as important that we get them. But white upgrade is really good. Basically, you can replace Reyna with her as a healer that way. Uh, we'll also improve her move too while we're at it. Restore HP by firing a special ray with healing properties. Oh, it only goes up to level 2. I think in the original Star Ocean, like, you can level it up up to like 99, and I think it gets like more effective the more times you use it, but I don't think that's the case in this game. But people said it's still pretty busted. And also, the, the clips are her weapons. You can't change her gun, but she changes, like, the ammunition for her gun. Wait, what if I go to Bowman's place before we go check out this? Hello there, my husband's not home, but is there anything I can help you with? Please come again. Are you sure he's not home? Can I raid your house? Just to be sure. I didn't think I would get the white, white upgrade that easily. Usually people, at least from what I looked online, people said it took them like up to 50 times of crafting to get it, and up to like 100 or 150 to get the next upgrade. But they must have, maybe they changed it in this game. Maybe I should, maybe I didn't need to develop her machinery level so high. I was worried for nothing. Oh, that's right, we need, we need to go speak with Ruddle. We finished Ruddle's quest in the last stream, but we didn't actually... And you would be? Claim our reward. Pardon me, sir. We've come here in search of a linguist. You'd like to meet the professor? Do you have an appointment? An appointment? I'm sorry, people, but the professor is a very busy man. If you don't have an appointment, then I'm afraid he doesn't have the time to see you. Could we make an appointment now, then? We really need to talk to him. Well, I don't have any openings available until about a month from now. A month? Yes, a month. I'll see you then. Oh, brother. Next month? He had to be screwing with us. We can't wait that long, can we? No. That's why we've got to figure out a way to get in contact with him. Do you think the linguist would have any acquaintances elsewhere in town? Hmm. Like who, for example? Well, like friends, or maybe people who work at the shops he visits. 
You know anyone like that, Priestess? Hmm. I'm not all that close with Keith. Oh, wait. If something needs fixing, you gotta visit the pharmacy, right? The pharmacy? Yeah, whenever anyone needs help, they go talk to this guy, Bowman. He's a pharmacist. Let's go see him then. But don't get any funny ideas, because I'm in your party now, and that means you can't recruit him. Hello, hello. You running a fever? No, that's not the problem. We're here for... Um, do you know the linguist who lives next to the campus store? Oh, you mean Keith? It's very important that we talk to that man. Do you know how we could meet him without an appointment? Yeah, Bowman got quite the glow up in this game. Hey, Rana, welcome to the stream. Well, he's been swamped with requests to decipher old books and scrolls lately, that much I know. Unless it's something really, really important, I doubt there's any way to jump the line. We need him to read an ancient text we found inside Cross Cave. Would that work? From Cross Cave? Well, that's a whole different story, then. We can't wait a month for this. If you happen to know Keith at all, would you be able to arrange something? Hey, Kaifer, Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by today. You're telling me you found this scroll inside Cross Cave. You know that's hard to believe based on what I know about the cave, right? Well, we have the evidence right here if you want to see it. Evidence, evidence. You could fabricate something like that easy. Not that I'm saying you're lying, mind you. Just tell us how we can convince you. If you're strong enough to traverse Cross Cave, then going through Linga's sacred grounds shouldn't be a problem for you. Linga's sacred grounds? Yep, a place revered by pharmacists for its bounty of medicinal plants. Located right next to town, you know? It still hasn't fully been explored, though. There are still all kinds of undiscovered herbs inside, no doubt. So you want us to go in there? Oh, this is no field trip. It may be a sacred ground, but deep inside exists a place known as the door to another world. It's a dangerous place, and it's lousy with monsters. If you aren't ready for it, you could pay with your life. But you'll believe our story if we go and fetch some herbs for you? Hmm. Maybe. If the cross cave didn't kill you, then finding me an undiscovered herb would probably convince me. Again, it's just... He's so unreasonable here an if you think about it. herb? Are you serious? I mean, it works out, but... <laughs> oh, that shouldn't make you break a sweat, Mr. I went to cross cave. Come on, off you go then. Sacred Grounds of Lingar, just outside town. If you want me to introduce you guys to Keith, try to get hold of a rare herb. So apparently, also you can... There's two herbs you can find in there. One of them comes from the boss, but one of them comes from, like, earlier in the cave. You can actually just avoid the boss in the cave completely. And then when you come back... It's gone, so... But you get good XP for fighting it. And a little bit of, like, lore. Right, I actually- I should equip Opera's healing attack, that's actually really important. Let's go! Let's- let's see how Priestess actually fights. I heard that she's kind of a slow melee, but apparently pretty okay in terms of strength. This must be the sort of herb Bowman wants us to find. I barely remember the layout of this place. It's pretty big. What a Here goes. Bonk. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, there's a range mode. Yeah, I forgot. Anyone hurt? Oh, her wind pose is cute.
Yeah, some of the enemies in this game are kind of cute, like the bunny things. Pretty cute. Oh god. Ah! Oh, maybe I should have rested at the inn. Reina has like no MP. <laughs> Anyone hurt? Oh, but she'll have MP now. She leveled up. Dang, Priestess leveled up so much. <laughs> I learned a new skill. What did I learn? Holy moly. Enter the cockpit of a giant Robbie and drill into the ground, attacking the enemy from below. Invincible while underground. Okay, I want to keep Rocket Punch, but maybe Holy Moly would be really good. Perfect! Now we'll get to see Keith in person. You sure about that? I think I've seen these in the item shops in Arlia and Salva. It's funny because on Claude's playthrough, it's the other way around. Claude says, "I think there's a new herb," and then, and then uh, Reina's like, "What are you talking about? No." Let's try this holy moly attack. <laughs> I like it. it. It doesn't seem very efficient, but I like it. Oh, I got petrified in the middle of my attack. Are you serious? That's not fair. I got ooze cocktail. Hmm. It's kind of hard to, to hit the enemies because they're like walking around. Perfect! Now we'll get to see Keith in person! You sure about that? I think I've seen these in the item shops in Arlia and Salva. Look at her cute little, like, idle animations. Come on, Priestess, do it! Come on, Priestess! There we go! <laughs> yeah, I came from that direction. Oh, I need to explore the down part. Well, we can do that later. Actually... Go down it. Let's go down now. Yeah, Reina kind of does a little like like schoolgirl tap her shoe on the on the floor type of movement, doesn't she? That attack looks so funny. I knew anyone hurt. Maybe I should get. Maybe I should just recruit Welch this time, because we do have one slot for a repeat party recruit. But I was gonna repeat Chisato because she's actually one of the best characters in the game. But perfect. Now we'll get to see Keith in person. You sure about that? I think I've seen these in the item shops in Arlia and Salva. Yeah, because Chisato 
has a lot of like multi-hit skills, so apparently you can like stun lock the enemy like forever with her. So she's like the best DPS. So a lot of people say that no matter what you do when you play this game, she's like a must recruit. Ow! Oh, I'm dead. I'm just I'm just straight up dead. Freeze is catching up in the levels at least. That's good. This is okay. Well, this was just a whole load of nothing. I can see Priestess's attacks have a little bit of start up to them, so she usually gets like. Knocked out of it. Hey, Aru. Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. Welcome, welcome today. Oh, I forgot to check this herb. I mean, not that we need it, but now we'll get to see Keith in person. You sure about that? I think I've seen these in the item shops in Arlia and Salva. What? Oh, there's a chest there. I didn't get that one. Oh, now I have to walk all the way back around. Oh, no, I can go this way. Enemies look so funny when they're stunned. This way. You ready for this? Here they come. Oh god. Everyone's dead. Why is everyone dead? Just the two of us, Opera. Oh, you have a different wind pose for being hurt? Very good. Not very good. <laughs> Look at all those dead bodies behind you, Opera. Oh, I'm low on, like... 
I'm low on the uh, blackberries. Be careful! Let the hunt begin. Back here. That was easier than I thought. Oh, thanks for calling Kirby, Angora. Oh, and the sleeveless redeem. Thank you, thank you. Ah! Where'd that guy come from? Oh gosh, it's a big one. Well, Opera healed herself at the last second there. She's dead. Oh god. We're all dying. I hate these, like, leader enemies. I just spent money on all these resurrection elixirs. I'm already using them. Yeah, there's like special enemies called like leaders, and they like they're giants, and then they buff all the other enemies around them, and they debuff your party. So it's like they're basically like mini bosses. Not too shit. Oh, I didn't get an XP because I was petrified. Dang it. Perfect. Now we'll get to see Keith in person. Hmm, I haven't seen this before. Yeah, but I have the suspicion Bowman has. Well, let's just go back to the pharmacy and show him. I like how the idle animations, they have like different variations for them, depending on which direction your character's facing, because they have to redraw them in different angles. So you could go back to Bowman with that item. And then you don't have to fight the boss, but... But then you don't get to fight the boss, and the boss disappears. Although this boss might be a little bit hard with our current party setup. That was easier than I thought. But we don't have any other party members to swap out, so this will just have to do. You ready for this? We can win this. Oh, stop stunning me. Good Not too shabby. Oh yeah. Yeah, Pressus has an attack where she fires missiles. She you know what the holy moly attack is cute, but it just has such a start. Actually, let's do jump and thumb. Jump and thumb seems a bit better for a melee. Pretty sure I earned a, a good reward from this, right? Ooh, Meteor Ring. Ooh, that's good. Uh, let's give it to Claude. What does Reyna have? Or what could I give Reyna? Spell damage plus 10%. 
this is escape time. Actually, escape time might be nice. Spell damage received heals HP. Let's get for this one. We don't have great accessories, I'll just give everyone some stuff. Ooh, another chain of might, actually that's perfect. We're good, we're good, we're good. We can win this! We got it in the Pathetic, huh? Yeah, I've already gone down there. Let's go this way. Yeah, this way is new. I want to go. There's something over here. I do appreciate that the maps are all like 3D now. And I don't just mean like graphic wise, I mean like how they like overlap each other and stuff is kind of neat. We're doing good, we're doing good. Perfect! Now we'll get to see Keith in person! You sure about that? I think I've seen these in the item shops in Arlia and Salva. Like how they have to have the conversation every single time. That easy, well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. Ooh, I got a new attack. Robbie Tossin. Pull Robbie 1 from backpack and throw it at an enemy. Robbie Tossin. I hope we get to see more of Robbie in some of the private actions. Oh, it's just a straight-up ranged attack. He turns into a sonic boom. Not 
two this shit. Is mine. It's a pretty fast attack though, so that's good. It doesn't look really cool, but it it comes out pretty fast. Because most of our other ones seem to have a little bit of startup, so then they take a bit longer to to hit. Oh, Dream Yubachan, welcome, welcome. Grand Burial Ground. A sacred place where the bones of colossal monsters rest. It is also home to many unsolved mysteries, such as if such creatures ever truly existed. You ready for this? Yeah, it kind of looks like a Destructo Disc, doesn't it? Or like Guile's Sonic Boom, is what I think of. That was easier than I thought. Oh, you re you rewatched the Snowball Fighter Flight. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the video was just posted up today. If anyone missed it, you check it out. Plus, the the Calyx stream we did yesterday too is also up on YouTube now. That was pretty fun, actually. Not too shabby. I'm hoping to finish Star Wars in two second playthrough this week. It might take like a week and one day. We'll see, depending on my stream days. I mean, this is a good game, but we've been playing it for so long that I would like a, to wrap it up. But having the new characters in the party does kind of keep it fresh, which is kind of nice. Even when all the story beats are the same. I'd say that was 8 out of 10. Oh, congratulations on the seven stream streak, Dream Yum Chan. Appreciate it. Well, that's a lot of enemies. It's up here again? Is there a chest up here? Where am I going? Oh, this is just a circle. Oh, I should have saved Leticia. Actually, let's fight this enemy. Let's get recharged back on Leticia. I'll even stand here and prolong the fight. The edge is back. Anyone hurt? Bye. Anything down there? No. Okay, we have to fight this group. Hey yeah, just take these robbies. Okay, that was actually okay. Okay, that was a lot better than I thought. Hey, Ikea Kern. Welcome to the stream, thank you so much for following. Being a froggy friend. Too bad we finished all our IKEA building yesterday. <laughs> I'll take out these guys individually. Welcome, welcome. Good to have ya. That's a lot of enemies. Ow, ow, ow. Goodness, opera is so useful. It's all Yay! over. Okay. Ooh, great. 
Okay, good, good, good. You know, I'll just leave those enemies alone. We don't need the XP. Okay, what I do need to do is go back to town and get some items. Why is Keith's house... Why is Keith's house marked with a side quest thingy? Okay, let's get some items. So, the last time we fought this boss, it was a little tricky, because basically, you fight, like, a bunch of, like, worm things. And they can also swallow you. And then when you're swallowed, you don't get out until someone in your party frees you, but then if everyone gets eaten... It's game over, but they have low HP, so hopefully we can overcome that. The professor is busy at the moment. Oh, bye. Why is it marked as a side quest though? That's what I don't get. Thank goodness they let us quick travel to the other save points besides the first one. Okay, let's give this a try. Gee, flame Launcher is pretty good for AoE. Let's keep that one. Let's give this a try. What is this? Some kind of monster grave? Look out! Ah, it's carry on! Oh, I'm eating! I'm eating! Someone break me out! Ah! Why can't I beat it up from the inside? I don't get it. Okay, we killed one. We killed one. Ah, I'm inside again! Like I heard, I don't. I think these things they don't have a specific attack that swallows you. It's just that their normal attacks have like a 25% chance of eating you. Oh, I'm eaten. But eat it. Anyone hurt? Okay, that went way better. I, mean, I know I have the difficulty on a different setting, but still. That was close. I didn't think we were going to be attacked like that. Looks like a dead end. This must be the place they call the door to another world. I don't see anything resembling a door, though. This just looks like a monster feeding ground to me. A graveyard for giants and dragons, or a sacred place where monsters lurk. This couldn't have just happened, could it? Are you saying that you think somebody deliberately built this? You think it was deliberately made? Come on, you have to be a god to do that. I can't imagine that people made this. For a god, that's another story, but that's just silly. God, it's certainly a mystery either way. Which again, I think Bowman mentions this place in one of his private actions, and Ernest does too, but... Like, they just kind of leave it. Like, this... You would think this is kind of an important plot-related place, but they just never talk about the door to another realm ever again. It's not even like a bonus dungeon or anything. I got a Dill Whip. Now we'll get to see Keith in person. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. I think we're good. All right, let's go show this to Bowman. something back have you let's have a look here you go what do you think whoa what have you found is it something useful I haven't seen anything like this except in dusty old textbooks where did you find this stuff looks like we found a winner guys this isn't a winner it's a major scientific breakthrough 
Is it major enough to get us a visit with the linguist? Hey, Night Loss, welcome to the stream today. You've discovered a completely new family of medical herbs and that's all you care about? You people are special, you know that? I gotta get you in touch with Keith right away. Here, let's go. I'm taking you to Keith's house. Come, Bowman. Keith must be a busy man. We got pushed out of the house the last time we visited. Hold on a second. Keith! Hey, Keith! Keith! You there? Keith! Keith! Jason! Jason! Great. He's not here. What's all this racket? Sorry about that. It's me. Oh, uh, Dr. Gene! Yeah, just call me Bowman. Is Keith in? Oh, uh, yes! Just a moment. Please, come in! Ah, you must be Dr. Gene's guest. Such intelligent looking people, if I may say so. Hem. Dr. Krasner is relaxing in his study. Excuse me, sir. Heavens, did you bring the whole town with you, Bowman? Hello, Keith. What happened to the friendly neighborhood linguist I used to know, huh? What do you mean? These people have been trying to talk with you, but they keep getting booted out. Well, I've been busy deciphering these books for the kingdom. They're looking for information on the sorcery globe, but this stuff's mostly useless. That's why I'm having my assistant chase the distractions away for the time being. So you think we're distractions? He didn't mean anything by it, guys. Just tell him what you want. Well, we'd like you to translate an ancient text we found deep in the heart of Cross Cave. From the Cross Cave? Seriously? Yes, we formed a party to find it, but it's too old to make any sense out of. Hmm, well, sounds a bit more interesting than this government busy work, at least. Let's have a look at it. Here it is. My goodness, we have a potentially monumental discovery. Really? Hmm. This resembles an ancient rabbinic hand I'm familiar with, but the script runs quite a bit differently. Do you think you can decipher it? Well, it's going to take me some time. Do you mind if I borrow this for a while? I'd like to have some time to concentrate on it. By all means, go ahead. Thank you very much. This is quite a surprise to find on my desk, I must say. I suppose I ought to thank you too, Bowman. He didn't do anything this time. <laughs> You actually thanked me. We're probably gonna see pigs fly before long. Ha 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 ha, everyone looks at the camera. It's so weird staying here when my home's just around the corner. At least someone's self-aware. I'm so glad we got him to decode our scroll. I'm glad everything's working out so smoothly. Please make yourselves at home. Right. That'll work. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Keith was just about beside himself. We really appreciate your help. Thanks again. Oh, it's fine. What about you guys, though? You're heading off for the L continent, right? Yep, and you're not invited this time. <laughs> we sure are. Investigating the sorcery globe could get pretty hairy. You're aware of that, right? We'll be all right. I've got Claude with me. I gotta admit, I'm a little worried about you. Huh? If you made me pick one or the other, I've got a lot more confidence in you right now, Reyna. 
Claude has fallen hard for you. I'm worried he'll let his emotions get the best of him. Nope, not gonna happen. We're getting a different ending this time, Bowman. What? Claude? What? You're telling me you've never even noticed? Hey, you barely know us, man. Man, this sure ain't boding well for you guys, is it? Good. <laughs> Listen up, folks. I don't want you risking your necks on this journey, okay? Let's make sure we all get home in one piece. Absolutely. We're dealing with people's lives here. Of course, I doubt I have much to worry about with this group you've got here. Reyna, I want you to keep a close eye on Claude. I have a feeling he's gonna try something crazy sooner or later. Um, sure. What? Why me? Forget about it. You wouldn't notice the warning signs anyway. Wait, what? Well, I'd say it's time we head for L. We'll need to ask the King of Liqueur to send out a ship for us. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to stock up on supplies. What's this us deal, Bowman? You're not coming with us. Sounds good. Getting back home in one piece is the best souvenir we can give to our families. So safety first, folks. No disagreement here. We'll be back. Don't worry about getting any souvenirs. I'd be happy as long as you guys come back safely. And not annihilate the planet while you're at it. What do I think too dangerous? Aru, thanks for the fun frog fact. There's a type of frog called rockhole frogs. You can find them in Australia, and they can bounce on water. If you look up like videos or, or gifs of them, they're really fun looking. They they jump around, they go boing boing off the, the surface tension and leap around because they're small enough. Isn't that neat? Thanks for the fun frog fact. Let's do let's do some private actions. We'll start back here. Probably all priestess ones. Oh, Reyna. What are you doing, priestess? Looking at this picture? Oh, what's so special about it? The title of it is Loon. Did you know that? I sure didn't. You're a pretty smart girl. You know about Tria, the gods of creation? Sure, those are the gods who created this world. That's right, but did you know that there's an art gallery inside the Tria temple? What? Why would there be an art gallery inside of a temple? Hey, I'm not making this up. There were stories about it years and years ago. Anyway, this picture is one of the pieces inside that gallery. I'm sure this is not the original, but still. You sure like your artwork, Priestess. I wish someone would take me to the Temple of Tria. We've just about completed preparations for the refugees. Thanks, Village Elder. Well, how's the taste? What's going on? Hmm... We're letting our customers sample our newest jams right now. Would you like to try some, ma'am? Yes. Yes, I would like some jam. I'd like to jam to your jam, ma'am. Oh, what kind of new flavors do you have? We're testing these three out right now. Banana, yogurt, and flan flavor. Wait, these are jams? <laughs> I mean, those, those still sound delicious, but... <laughs> so what's your poison, Reyna? Uh, poison? I want to try out the flan flavor. I love flan. I'll try out the flan flavor. I tried that too. Two? How much jam have you had, Priestess? Hmm, I went through every flavor. What's the point of coming here if you aren't going to go all the way? This isn't a contest, Priestess. Here, 
Here you are. Flan flavor. I like how you see like a little dot over her nose. Blinking. Is that part of the animation or is that just a glitch? Well, that was her mouth. That was supposed to be her mouth. I thought it was like her... I thought she was like sniffing it with her nose. Whoa, it's so rich. You must have added a lot of sugar to this. Yes, we did. That's how we make jam, after all. Well, certainly, but flan's already so high in sugar, you didn't need to add any more. Oh. You'd pile on weight like a pig in springtime if you ate this all the time. It'd probably make you seriously ill before then, though. <laughs> Wait, you're admitting to this, but you're the one making it? Yuki, come on. Oh, I thought the idea of flan jam was pretty hilarious myself. How about green tea jam or mackerel miso jam? Oh, Kumasawa would love you, Priestess. Hello there. Our specially made jams are the sweetest you can find and all across. I don't know, I might end up eating too much and put on weight. See, these these are strawberry, raspberry, apple. Just, you know, stick with those, you know? You're not buying anything. Kieran also told me that, like in the original Star Ocean, the very first one, this character didn't exist. Yuki, and then they gave her the name and the title, The Freckled Girl, because she was in the anime for Star Ocean 2, and then they included her in Second Evolution. Oh, do I have to go all the way to the university? Fine. Oh, never mind, she's outside. Wait, oh, no, we did this one as Claude before. Well, I'll investigate this when I have my party. Come one, come all, ladies and gentlemen, step right up and see what I've got here. Students, mothers, professors, just read this book and you too could be a genius. The more you read, the smarter you get. Really? Sounds like a scam to me. What are you blabbing about? Don't knock it until you read it, pal. So, are you gonna buy it? Are you serious? I'm not gonna waste my money on some book I don't know anything about. Hey now, boy, at least buy the book before you say something like that. What will you do? I think last time I bought one. It wasn't even that expensive. I'll take this one, please. Oh ho, finally, someone who understands the value of this fine book. Good choice, miss. Just for that, I'll let you have it for 1,980 full. Thank you much. I guarantee you won't regret it. I don't see the point of buying any books, since we've got a library. I don't know. You think I should buy a copy? What do you want? You can't return any items once you've purchased them. I'm a bit weak to pressure. He might be able to convince me to buy something. I can guarantee that none of these books are worth anything. Kur Academy, the only university on Expel. A wide array of subjects are taught under one roof, from linguistics to astronomy, with each department advancing their field. Okay, while we're here, let's do a bunch of the guild missions, since I've been ignoring those on this playthrough. <laughs> There's the Fate Jewel, perfect. Ooh, I got a gelatin stir fry. Beautiful. Cooking, or no, we have crafting and a cooking mission. I make a fried egg. A silver earring. Oh, 
I have a 90% success rate. That is not what I wanted. I got yogurt. Here goes. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of BP and SP because I was waiting for more party members so I can coordinate my crafting better. Well, you know compounding, perfect. That's my compounding mission. Use compounding to make a smoke mist. Mandrake and a rose hip. Writing, art. Oh, I have so many more than I thought. Familiar. Training. Music. Let's do. You could be. You could be an art animal trainer. You can be our... You can be our scout. What else do I need? I'm only doing the guild missions to get the... The jewel, really. Erotic jewel, I believe. Okay, music... Training... Art and writing. You could be our artsy person, Reyna. Welch into my craft. Welch and Selene are usually my crafters, but well, Reyna could be a, like a catch-all. Long sword and a ruby customization. Of these just to get them off our list. Yeah, I still need crafting and alchemy. Use art to make portrait A. Use writing to make walls of the soul. Here goes. That's not the portrait I want. Failure. <laughs>
Perfect. I for detail aesthetics. Oh, your I for detail aesthetics. You know, all the crafting is kind of like it's fun, but it's like there's so many menus all the time. Gathering yeah, crafting. Wants me to make a silver earring. Here it goes. I only have a thirty percent success rate. I can't believe I actually made that. Well, oh, I, oh, I need to level two. Okay. This is cheap, this is cheap, this is cheap. me to make silver. so tedious when you I shouldn't have saved so much of this to do at once alchemy technology mineralogy fairyology Technology. I'll just turn all these in, I'll be good enough for now. How many missions have we done now? Ooh, we got challenge mission. Yeah, we've done at least 10 guild missions now. Okay, actually that's pretty sufficient, we'll do more later. Let's keep going. You people are evacuating to Lacour, right? Evacuating? Sheesh, didn't you hear the news? Monsters destroyed the L Kingdom. Their hordes are marching for Lacor as we speak. What? I'm sure we'll slaughter them once they reach the front line base. Until then, the area north of Lacor is going to be a battlefield. That's why we're evacuating everyone into the castle. Really? Then let us fight them too. 
you have any idea what you're saying? You'll just drag us down. We need you inside Lacor Castle. Now go on. We'll save after doing all that, so we don't have to do it again. Could I ask who's representing this group? Oh, that'd be me. Raina Lanford. And where were you born, Miss Lanford? Arlia. The village of Arlia in Cross. Arlia? You were born pretty far from here, weren't you? I suppose so, yes. Yes, there's this thing called traveling. <laughs> All right, then. Please, enter the castle. Let's go say hi to our favorite dude. The cutscene's gonna be a little bit different just because we don't have Bowman with us. Huh? I hear someone talking. So it's almost complete. We're very close, sire. The only obstacle left before this can be used is to find a material strong enough to withstand the energy this device generates. So what is the point of building this if we can't put it into use? I told you already, I can get what I need at the Hoffman Ruin. Are you sure about that, Leon? Of course, Your Majesty. Just give me two days and I can get what we need. If it's as simple as that, then... Who's there? What are you doing here? It's not what you think. We're just passing through. We're just passing through this dead end. Who's gonna believe that? I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Oh, aren't you the boy who took second place in the armory contest? It was a very close match. Don't you remember seeing him at the tournament, Leon? I don't remember it. I couldn't be bothered to watch. Oh, but I bet your majesty would, right? Yes, the boy who almost took the championship from Diaz's grasp. I remember it well. Even the king's gaslighting us. You remember me, sire? Indeed. What brings you here? Oh, I was just taking a walk around the castle. That's a lie, sire. He must be a spy, coming to steal the secrets behind the liqueur hope. The liqueur hope? Don't play dumb with me, you spy. It's the latest concept weapon we're developing powered by symbology. It packs enough punch to wipe a small island right off the map. You're making that? Hey, Linny, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for following me and being a froggy friend. Welcome, welcome. You really have no idea what I'm talking about? Your Majesty, we are looking for a ship to take us to the L continent. We are under decree from the King of Cross to conduct an investigation into the Sorcery Globe. Goodness, is that why you're here? Could you please give us permission to leave town? I promise you, we aren't evacuees. Hmm, I suppose it's all right, but... No, sire. They've come into contact with classified information about the liqueur hope. They must be put in the dungeons immediately. You're the one who just gave us that classified information, Leon. <laughs> Maybe that was a tactic all along. Feed, feed us classified information so you could justify throwing us in jail. Yeah, but who's the one who blurted it out? <laughs> See, exactly, Claude. You're on the same page as me. Yeah, welcome, Linny. Oh, you've been following me on Twitter for a while, and you saw I was live. Oh, welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by today. Anyway, people, I can't afford to waste any more time with you. I have to go to the Hoffman Ruins now. I'm glad you like frogs, too. The Hoffman Ruins? I'm just one step away from completing the liqueur hope. The last bit of raw material I need is found in the Hoffman Ruins. Hey, Leon, stop spouting government secrets. But we need all the soldiers we have over at the frontline base. We don't have any reserves to send into the Hoffman Ruins with you right now. In that case, we could accompany you to the Hoffman Ruins if you like. 
Would you grant us passage to L in exchange, Your Majesty? Do you understand what you are getting yourselves into? The Hoffman Ruins are a very dangerous place. Forget it! I'm not going with you guys. What could you possibly do that I can't do myself? I'm sure we wouldn't drag you down too much. Besides, it's safer than traveling there alone, isn't it? If they insist upon it, then so be it. Either way, I'm going. Wonderful. In that case, there's no time to waste. You'll travel by sea to the Hoffman Ruins. I'll arrange for a ship in the Port of Hilton for you. The Port of Hilton, then. I'll be leaving now. Well then, let's make the most of our time together. I'm still worried about you, though. Here, let me give this to you. Yay, Leon has joined our party. Surely we'll be able to keep him forever. Let's do double Robbie Tossin. And then let's do... I mean, this, is, this one doesn't really matter. Let's do Holy Moly Jumpin' Thump. Please take good care of our Leon. We need a special ore found only in the Hoffman Ruins to complete the Liqueur Hope. I'll arrange for a ship to depart from Hilton for the Hoffman Ruins. I want you to go and obtain this crucial material at once. This is all classified information. We can't let you go now that you know about it. So it's a weapon shop girl. Well, hi there, sweetie. I had this rare sword with me, but they took it away. Well, then don't even tell me about it, girl. It's me, Leon. I need to go into the Hoffman ruins. These people are with me, so let them through too. Yes, Dr. Guest, of course. Good luck on your expedition, sir. I won't need it. Come on, Leon, free luck. They're offering you free luck. Just take it. See, they never address the fact that Leon is also like a, a fell pool or lesser fell pool cat person, but his parents aren't, and no one else on this planet seems to be. Doctor Guest. I'm going to the Hoffman Ruins. These people are with me. Yes, sir. I'll be back pretty soon. It won't take much time at all to get what I need. Yes, Dr. Guest. Good luck on your expedition, sir. Okay, let's stock up on items. Let's just, let's just take all the resurrection elixirs we can get. I'll, I'll max out on... Actually, no, I'll max out on blackberries. Maybe these might be useful. I got my spare. I wonder what this thing is for and who it's for. So I'm gonna actually, I want to put Leon in the party just because we didn't really see, even though we had him in our party last time, we didn't really use him that much because outside of when he was a guest 
in the part after, because he, you know, casters aren't super great. I'm gonna boot Reyna. We're gonna rely on just Healing Star, just so we get to see him a little bit more. Before we say farewell to him. Well, this store doesn't have much going for it. Gonna save before we do that. The Welch private action should be deactivated by now. But I still see one on the bridge there. Unless they changed it. I mean I'm not I'm not gonna let her join me. But actually I'm kinda curious, what's Raina say to her? I kinda wanna see. Look out below! Okay, so the the, the the window opening for hers is a bit different. We'll we'll reject her advance though. What? <laughs> She looks so funny falling, her little tiny sprite with her pigtails. Ow! Ugh, you're heavy. What is your problem? Can't you watch where you're going? I I'm sorry. I uh Ah, oh, I was going to make a perfect graceful landing too until you screwed it all up. But why were you falling from the sky in the first place? What better way to have a first encounter? How romantic, huh? A beautiful young girl falls from the sky. A dashing young man picks her up in his arms. Huh. <sighs> And here I've wound up crashing into a girl instead. Oh, my best laid plans. I'm sorry, but I can certainly empathize with you. I love dreaming about fateful encounters like that. I used to dream about meeting the Hero of Light. They say he's a brave man who came from another world. Oh, you do know. You know exactly what I mean. A fateful encounter. Oh, it sounds so beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. Of course, the hero of light that showed up wasn't exactly like the one I imagined. Claude's just standing down the you street. You actually ran into this hero of light guy? Yes, I did. I was under attack by monsters, and he happened to be there and dispatched them with his Sword of Light. But he wasn't really the Hero of Light. I just thought he was, that's all. Wait a minute. You don't have feelings for him, do you? N no I mean, it's not like I feel that way for Claude or anything. Oh, so his name's Claude. Hmm. Hey, wait! I told you it's nothing like that! So, what's your name? Reyna. Reyna Lanford. I'm Welch Vineyard. Okay, it's settled then. I'm coming with you. Huh? You seem like you'd be kind of fun to tail for a bit. Besides, this is my first time here, so I'm all lonely and vulnerable and stuff. It sounds like that Claude guy's a lot of trouble for you. He doesn't understand a girl's feelings at all. Somebody needs to teach him, and I think I'll go give him a lesson he'll never forget. Well, yeah, he's dense, and maybe he's a little childish, but we aren't what you think, okay? Ooh, there you go again. Besides, we're in the middle of a journey to get to the bottom of the Sorcery Globe. Okay, so I'll just go with you then. You can't come along with us. It's a seriously dangerous journey we're on right now. I can't get you involved. I may not look it, but I'm a creator, you know. I can take care of myself in a fight. Creator? I like how it, the music sounded like a jump scared after she said that she could <laughs> take care of herself in a fight. To put it another way, 
I'm a girl who can do pretty much anything. But... Besides, I told you, I want to help you, Reyna. I can even give you advice if you're having relationship problems, you know? That's making me all the more anxious. Well, what's your reply? Please enlighten me with your wisdom. I don't have any relationship problems. Sorry, Welch, you're not in the party this time. You, I don't have any relationship issues. You big fat liar. No, but I mean... Come on now, out with the truth. Oh, I don't have any relationship I'm problems. I'm fine. I don't want to bother anybody else about this. Are you really that weak of a woman? Oh, come on, Welch. I... I'm not sure how I really feel about Claude yet. Ugh, you're driving me crazy here. Look, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help you, okay? I'll just keep rejecting your advances, For Welch. For the time, Claude and I aren't in any kind of relationship. Besides, he's always lashing out at Dias. It happened just a little while ago, actually. Ooh, there's another man in the picture? You're a feisty one, aren't you? Look, no, it's not like that. I think this is starting to sound very interesting. You've got to give me your secret to your popularity. How long does this conversation I'm go sorry, for? But I keep I saying really no. We can't get you involved in this. It's a very dangerous journey, so. I'm sorry. I thought we had a good thing going, too. Too bad. But just one parting word a woman needs to have attitude. You got that? Huh? And until I can run into the man of my dreams, I'm going to keep falling from the sky for as long as it takes. Yeah, good luck with your dragoon training, I guess. I wonder if I'll ever be as strong as she is. Not until you start equipping handy sticks, Reyna. Oh, they won't even let me go to to Harley. I forgot to pick up the the, the scumbag slayer from Ruddle. Well, that's okay. Hey, A of Spades, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by today. Being a kid like that thinks he can push us around, and there's no future for Lacour. Ah, Doctor Guest. Everything ready? Yes, sir. Everything's in place. Ready when you are. Well, are we ready for the ruins? Let me know when you're ready to return to Hilton. Right. You said let me know when you're ready to return to Hilton, you're not letting me go. I just wanna see if I go back here if they'll let me go back to Harley. We'll have to remember to go back to him later. Not that it's a big deal. Let's go! Let's also grab the chest over here. Yes. Random meat in a chest in the middle of nowhere. Just what I wanted.
if we, we have an easier go of this place than we did the first time. Which I think we will. Great, a weapon for someone that isn't in our party yet. That's what any average person like you would say, lady. Me, I can open this up in like two seconds. Here, look. See this round thing? It's called a button. You push it, and then it'll open the way. Wow, thank you for the lesson, Dr. Guest. Huh? You okay, Dr. Guest? two seconds it's these buttons i think the contacts are off it shouldn't take this long oh yeah we have to push them both at the same time here lady go and push the other one oh all right here goes one two I told you I'd get this thing open. Yeah, we've already done the prerequisites for, for our next party member later. Opera, you almost got left behind there. Wonder what it is. Giant ominous laser beam with dynamite. Is that stick connected to the magic circle with a line? What does this button do? Hey Leon, is moving that stick the trick to moving that magic circle? Oh, yeah, it must be. Oh, but be careful when you touch it. Got it. What is it connected to and where? Let's take a closer look. Love all my party members just stand right in front of the explosion. <laughs> Not dangerous or anything. Don't worry about it. Explosions everywhere. Hey, not fair. He started a fight with me while I was pressing the button in the cutscene. Oh, right. This is the place with the fine card that does damage to us. I totally forgot about that. If 
fight me. Oh right, I forgot, since Rain is in the back line, she's actually part of the assault formation. I'm just falling asleep in the background over there. Come on, kid. And you change. Uh, here. There. Rena, you're gonna be our backup, Kasuna. <laughs> I keep feeling tempted to hit Reyna's assault formation, even though I know it's not going to do anything when no one has a condition to cure. It's like when you see a skill has come off cooldown, and you really want to use it because it's there, but you're like, no, I need to time it properly. It's like that. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to fish the Hoffman Coast. I'll do that on my way back. For, I keep forgetting because I'm not playing as Claude right now. The glint of hidden power. Veins of the precious ore, Energy Stone, shine faintly, full of a mighty power too dangerous for the untrained to handle. Perhaps it's fortunate it's found so far off the beaten path. Aha! Uh -huh. Good job, Leon. Ow! Stop spamming your arrows! Oh, gosh. I'm dead. Didn't even have time to cleanse the paralysis. Oh, I didn't mean to summon Reyna there. Not too shit. What a bother. Here goes. Wait, what's this thing? It's a single teddy bear. Welp. Ow. I'd say that was eight out of ten. Whoa. Pretty sure we never ran into that enemy. Very good. On the first playthrough. Boom. Oh no, I'm gonna get a back attack. Dang it! 
That's not fair, that's mean. My battle gauge! Oh my god, let her finish her healing star. I beg of you. Oh, he stopped hitting me. <laughs> there you go. That was easier than I thought. Oh, this one. This will be fun. I hate these enemies so much. <laughs> I keep throwing Robbie at them. The range on the fire breath really sucks. Yeah, get broke. Get broken. Oh, opera, no! Like the first time we did this dungeon, it was kind of tricky because we were like avoiding the enemies because they were a little strong. But this time, it's gonna go pretty smoothly since we can actually take them on and clear out the place. It's easier to do the low puzzle. Leon's so funny. Remember these teddy bear items the first time around. No well, problem. I'd say that's worth ten out of ten. Okay. Out of my way, monsters. 
That's a leader. That's a leader. Spam Robbie, spam Robbie. Oh, I didn't mean to stop it right now. Actually, that was actually good. I didn't realize everyone's poisoned. Maybe I should just play as Opera and just spam the healing star myself. Let's gather around for Leticia. Nice I'd say that was eight out of ten. Oh yeah! Leticia's attack is so useful, it's just got such a long start up. Okay, switch number one. I like how the lion kind of glows and lights up the screen, and the screen looks like it has a little bit of, like, messiness to it. Like a little bit of, like, a, like a, like a chromatic aberration. Not sure if that's the right term for it. God, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dead. Healing star, healing star. I need that. Healing star, healing star. Maybe I should just play as Opera. <laughs> okay. All that for a Wizard's Cap I didn't even equip. Okay, so this is six. Actually, I'm kind of really curious what Leon looks like if you melee with his book. I should try that while we have him. Bad idea? Certainly, but <laughs> I want to see. Okay, we hit switch number one. I can't see anything! Oh, there we go. Oh, he like, he opens his book and a little like shadow hand comes out of it. Mayan, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for coming by and entrusting your audience to me. Do you guys have a good time? What were you playing today? Let's give you a shout out. Hey Reisna, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well too. You guys, please go check out Maihan when you get a chance. She's a really cool VTuber and professional voice actress herself. And also just a really cool person. Very positive, excellent community. Loves playing a lot of awesome games like Final Fantasy XIV and other things. Please go check her out. 
What you're rating in Final Fantasy XIV today? Did it go well? Did you make a lot of progress? Thank you so much for stopping by. Feel free to stick around and relax, or go take care of yourself after your stream. I really appreciate it. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Kiro, frog-themed martial artist. We're playing Starshin 2 Remake. We're doing our second playthrough to recruit all the characters that we didn't get the first time. But thank you so much for coming by. There was some kind of progress. Still good, still good. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool physical attack animation, Leon. Like, it doesn't really combo, but it's pretty cool, actually. Thanks for calling Kirby, Rana. Appreciate it. Hey, Kirby, how's it going, little guy? I was gonna melee more as Leon, but these guys are kind of tricky. Yeah, go enjoy your dinner! Eat some delicious food, and we'll catch you next time. A lot of enemies. Thanks for the rain of frogs. Bring in Kirby here for the Raiders. Gotta introduce them all to my little friend. Who's the man now? As he's standing there sleeping. There's number three. I think number two is up here. Oh, no, that's not number two. Didn't stand a chance. Ooh, I got armor from that. Nice. So many switches everywhere. Oh, there's number two. Ah. That thing almost back attacked me. Can't defeat my Robbie spam. Oh dang it! I got I got the healing star off, but Claude is still dead. That's fine. He's over leveled. Not really. Reina can just remain as our backline healer. Yeah, exactly. Claude went from sword planting to phase planting in, like, the span of two seconds. This guy. What are we gonna do with him? Gee, you know what? I'll go back for the other switch. Or I'll go back for the other chest after we do this part. It's more efficient. This was switch four. Switch three is over here. Switch three. Switch four. 
damage for... Switch five. And then we'll go up here and get the chest. Better be good. Fully missed. Playful handy stick. That is utterly useless to my party. <laughs> Save and fight this mini-boss. Gosh, she's paralyzed. She's paralyzed. Oh, she's, she's just dead now. She's just dead. And Claude's paralyzed. This is fantastic. I love this so much. And Claude's dying. Oh, now he's just dead. I just wasted my item. Oh, Leon's still alive. I totally forgot that Leon was even here. Oh god, ow! Okay. <laughs> she does healing star, immediately gets paralyzed. I hate these stupid panther things. Get him, Edge. I gotta use up more items on this mini boss than I'm on, on the actual boss. <laughs> Gang up on him. wasn't awful. Okay, I gotta spend a bunch of my SP and BP now. I've been kind of hoarding it. On purpose, but also... Because I want to save... Okay, Opera, I'm still gonna work on her machinery first. I want to see if I can get her last couple skills. Getting expensive! I also didn't get anything for you, Presses. I'm sorry. Spend a little bit on your machinery too, but not too much. What do you got there? Press is a knife! No! That's good enough for now. I haven't really been doing it for you guys either. Buy all the cheap ones first. Just so we have them logged. 
not even gonna bother with you, Leon. <laughs> I should work on. I should save this for Raina's pickpocketing later because we're gonna need to adjust some of our our uh, affection levels. Poker face and courage for you. A bunch of these. Right, we got backstab now. I'll save my points. Okay, let's go take on this boss. Actually, how am I doing for items? Oh, I got 12 resurrection elixirs. I'll be fine. in on this effort, Leon? Yeah, geez, Leon. Hmm. Yes, I suppose you didn't do as terribly as I expected. Man, what a brat. Oh, I don't know. I'm starting to find his act kind of cute. I'm starting to find his act kind of cute, but I'm not going to let him join the party. <laughs> hey, don't go too far ahead, This is my Leon. playthrough. Me, Reyna. The Pendant. Huh? I think there's a faint light coming from it. Well, that's because of the ore that's in here, isn't it? Come on, lady. Let's just get this ore and get out of here. Leon, behind you! Oh, we are destroying him. Okay, let's get the little guy first. Good job, Opera. We don't need Reyna with you around. Not too shabby. Well, that was way easier than the than the leader enemy we fought to get into this room. Whoa! I'm your woman. I'm fine. Wait, where's Leon? Our party feels so small since we don't have as many people this time. He was just here a moment ago. Leon, what happened? That monster. I... I've never seen anything like that. Not even in my books. Oh, come on, Leon. It wasn't even a unique sprite for an enemy. Guess you can't learn everything from the textbooks, huh? Oh, come on! Claude, we should just get this ore we came here for and get back. Yeah, enough playing around. This should work. What's the pendant looking like now, Reyna? It's back to normal. It must have reacted with the ore, huh? Weird. I wonder what that pendant's made of. Here, Leon. This is the ore you wanted, right? Hang on to it. Oh, okay. The soldier's waiting for us on the coast. Let's go. How old's Leon? Uh, I don't remember. He is 12. Yes, he is 12. <laughs> Okay, 
Let's leave. Good thing all the enemies didn't respawn. Save here. Let's wrap up a few of our crafting missions while we're here. Ooh, a challenge mission completed. Yes, please. Okay. Use alchemy to make a crystal using iron. Ooh, I could I could use Leon for a bunch of these crafting things, like, because we're gonna lose him soon. I could spend all his SP and not care about where it goes. Hey, Girlfriend76, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. Let's do this. Perfect, got the crystal. And then appraise armor with spectacles. Well, I only have a 51% chance. Let's raise that a little bit. I keep going to the wrong menu. 65% and still not great. Fine, I'll spend more of my points game. You want to be like that? Surely that's enough. 72%, I'll take it. I have a lot of spectacles. I got some sandals. Those are not what I imagine when I think of sandals. <laughs> oh, I need to inspect the armor too. Let's keep inspecting. Oh yeah, because I think I think I just did a different item. Failure. Oh, because I have more than one, that's why. Here goes. Got Neo Greaves. Does that count? Yes, it does. Well, no one knows cooking yet. Raina knows everything. Make a smoke mist with mandrake and rose hip. Crafting to make an emerald ring. Ooh, use machinist to make a soldering iron. Mechanics toolbox and create support item. Okay, we'll do support item and then portable. Okay, actually, who's better machinist right now? Well, probably opera. Thanks for the stretch, Yule. Welcome, welcome. Here it goes. Thanks for dropping by today. Got the music box. Here it goes. 
Don't forget you guys to uh, also sit up straight in your seats and take the chance to stretch as well. You want I can get I can make Leon good at crafting and cooking. Since we're gonna toss him. He's got crafting and cooking. Let's make him crafty. Oh, Presses already got crafting. I didn't even need to do that. Well, that's fine. Here it goes. Presses. I keep saying... Because I kept thinking her name was Presses for the longest time until I actually got her. Okay. Vegetables with cooking at level 4 or higher. I don't have vegetables. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, we'll have to do that later. And then lastly, compounding the mandrake and a rose hip. I probably won't get this on my first try. Oops, I should have equipped that. Wait, it was the Neo Greaves. Mandrake, Rose Hip. Okay, this one might fail a few times. Well, there's only a 48% chance. Fine, Reyna, I'll spend some points on your compounding. What else is compounding? Mandrake Rose hit fifty four percent. Dang it. Well, this is also compounding. Save again so we don't lose our materials too badly. And Drake Rose up 60% chance? You know what? I'll take it. I'll take a 60% chance. Smoke mist. Perfect. Okay, we just need vegetables. Excellent. Okay. So, I'm actually going to wrap up stream here today, and there's actually a reason for that, story-wise. I'll explain it in the next stream. It'll make more sense when you see it in the next stream. But, I also didn't want to go too long today anyways. But we got Priestess, and a full party of people, and our guest Leon. Things are going pretty smoothly, especially since we know what we're doing this time, and also uh, the difficulty is lower just for ease of speed. Now I want to remind you guys again 
that our Thankmas campaign, even though Thankmas is over, the link is still active. And it'll be active probably at least for a couple more days or maybe even for the rest of the week. So you want to check that out. Thank you again for everyone with your support with Thankmas again yesterday. Uh, it was really fun. I was a bit tired after doing all those streams back to back. But uh, I had a really good time. Oh, hey, Kieran. Thank you so much for the stretch. And thank you again for everyone who who helped out, showed their generosity, spread the word, or joined me on stream, because it was it was just really delightful. Let's have a look at who we could raid. Let's see, let's see. Oh, Hero is streaming again. Looks like they're doing some kind of... Oh, it's like one of those like personality test game things. Okay, let's go drop in on Hero. Hero's awesome. They're also an artist and a big fan of frogs. So if you like frogs and beautiful art, you should go check them out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Star Ocean 2 Remake. And we'll keep playing it throughout the week. And I, I think I might be able to finish it this week. Otherwise, it'll, I might take one extra day next week to wrap it up. But we're making pretty good progress. Yeah, thank you everyone for coming by. I really appreciate it. And hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.